Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hard West. In the previous episode, we, well, got to see another side of the story as to why Dr. Gorman had not been around when Liberty had woken up. Turns out he'd been betrayed. But we now seek our vengeance while also looking for some help. And acquiring supplies. I did remember to get Cheat Out Engine open so that I could affect the ether. I already got the first scan done. And picking up from where we left off, we're gonna want to head to Misericordia. Misericordia? However it's pronounced. The settlement of Misericordia was a secret project of one of the masked doctors. While there were a few adults, the vast majority of the inhabitants were children. All of them were boys, all were tall and fit, and all looked precisely eerily the same. It seemed the doctor in charge had managed to replace the gonads of all miscon... Misericordia couples with identical copies of a pair of testes and ovaries he'd grown in his laboratory. The resulting offspring were identical to one another, but utterly unlike their parents. Mrs. Persons was the community's leader, and the boys were named after her. Ah, well, this... this explains the Persons. Like, a lot. I suspected there might be some useful material here, so I started snooping around. I found some ether in jars. Not a gigantic quantity, but it was better than nothing. You're gonna want to stick around here as long as possible. Let me just get to... 155, next scan. That was fast. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go. I was pushing my luck, but I continued looking. I found an unknown organ preserved in a large ether container. I claimed it for the cause. Keep going. I found a stash of identical suits that bore the Pinkerton insignia. Alongside them was an assortment of firearms. Keep going. This will drain your luck by a lot. By, like, 85 points. But you're gonna want to keep doing this to get a ton of stuff. I came upon a most interesting specimen. A human spine kept in a large ether tank. And this was not just a reference display. It was a living organ. Naturally, I decided to keep it. Keep going. I found assorted bombs and petards. These things might come in handy in the most unusual situation. I decided I should stop before I was discovered. Smart play. But yeah, that drains all of his luck. But it gets you a ton of stuff. In total, you get 95 ether, 1 deadly derringer, 1 scope custom rifle, 1 10 gauge triple shotgun, 2 petrification bolts, 2 stun bombs, 2 nail bombs, at the expense of losing all your luck. Okay, last destination for graph tour is Lazaretto. Where, oh, where is this Lazaretto? There it is. I have arrived in the local leper house, filled with miserable, discarded, forgotten human beings. Forgotten being the key word. It seemed no one had seen their potential as sources of ether. Not even my former colleagues. Okay, once we're there, we're going to uh, to engage in conversation with the local priest. See, I had an enlightening conversation with the local priest, who now suffered from leprosy as well. Halfway through his riveting tale, the good priest went silent and pale. Then he reached into his mouth and produced his severed tongue. He looked at me, mute and helpless. I put the rotting tongue on ether, then helped the man stop the bleeding and dress the wound. That gets us the priest's tongue in the morgue. The man was thankful for the help, even though he had effectively become mute. Then we're going to spend some more time healing the ill. Or, under the pretense of healing the ill, to get some ether. It cost me some time, but I collected a large amount of biological material. Now that we've gotten our grafts, we're gonna head back to Maple Falls to get some guns.
gunsmith was a smug, well-dressed man, but an incorrigible buffoon. He fixed us with a condescending look without saying anything. Okay, then. We're going to want to sell every gun we've got, except for Aldous's navy gun. And when I say every gun, I mean every gun. You're also going to want to sell off the bombs and bolts that we got at Miss Condoroga if you don't plan on using them. I don't. So yeah, I'm selling them off. Then... We're going to want to buy two navy guns, one 10-gauge quadruple shotgun, an elephant rifle, and a musket. Let's see, 10-gauge quadruple shotgun, two navy guns... A... Da, 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 elephant rifle... And a musket. And if we have enough gold left to purchase it, a lucky horseshoe and one Ojo del Muerto. But not here, at the general store. So let me just toss some cash on there for that. But only if you have the cash left over, which we should, but yeah, who can say. Okay, relatively cheap. Okay, now we need to start figuring out where Liberty is. So, first we're gonna head to Maple Falls. And ask about her. I asked around about you. Discreetly, of course. Unfortunately, there was no news. Then we're gonna want to head for Lazaretto. And then finally, the Congregation. They said no, no one matching your description visited them any time. But we know she's been to the, uh, congregation. They hung their heads and admitted they had seen you in the vicinity. As proof, they gave me a piece of paper with your visage drawn on it. Poster read, Wanted, dead or alive. Liberty. Escaped slave and murderer and... Escaped slave and murderer and gang. Okay. $10,000 for... <clears throat> 2500 for each gang member, last seen in the vicinity of Stringfellow Quarry. When I had heard you had survived, I was ecstatic. I knew you had embraced your superhuman potential. And you chose to remain in the quarry and wait for me. I knew then you had feelings for me. Oh, I've got feelings. Just not the ones you're thinking of. Yeah, that should be blatantly obvious. So that's the last tactical mission's location. But... There is still one side quest left to take care of. We're going to want to head for the morgue, heal off any decay that we've got. And then we're going to want to buy as many of our, uh, as many... ...grafts as possible. I exercised utmost caution when approaching the morgue. I knew Duval would have warned all the employees against me. I needed to find one that actually knew me. So I waited until nightfall and caught Ven's Venison when he was leaving. He was happy to see me alive. I told him what happened. He was very supportive. He said he'd trade with me, but explained that he would need extra coin to keep his employee's mouth shut. Now, first off, let's do something about the decay. Gunther smiled, said that he felt ill, and hoped to die soon. Not on my watch. Alright, now we're going to trade. In order of priority, you want to get... Da, 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 da. Come on. Tattooed skin. Satanic patterns tattooed on the skin make it the make its wearer an expert in camouflage. Then, 
you're going to want to go for human blood. Blood of a particularly aggressive individual. Then, you're going to want to get Gambler's Liver. G living proof of what a man's arrogance can cost him. Then the Priest's Tongue. Filled with leprosy or not, the tongue of a man of God is suited to prayer. Then, Hand of Fortune. The digits of a master craftsman and prospector. Very handy indeed. Then, the Lucky Lung. This lung was miraculously saved from a horrible accident must carry some power. Then you're going to want to get to the do, 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 human limb. The central currency of the human immune system. Lymph grants vitality and durability. Improves, improves defensive stats. Uh, let's see. Then the stinger. The very first thing we had available to us besides the martial stomach. A venomous stinger of arachnid origin grafted onto the human body. Francis Crippler. And then lastly, the vampire brain. The preserved brain of a patient suffering from photophobia who also made a habit of drinking human blood. Shadow salve. Nice. I wonder what the other ones give. Sasquatch teeth gets his terror. An identified organ. An unusual growth found in the body of a wounded soldier. It serves a golem better. That's not where we found it. Cannibal stomach. Yeah, surprise, surprise, gives us cannibal. Former property of a cannibal. This stomach shows signs of ad adaption to a diet of human flesh. Living spine. The spine had been kept alive in an experimental eldritch balm. Probably intended for future implantation. Barrage. Human tail. One of Dr. Gorman's outlandish specimens. So, in order to purchase all this, you would need 349 ether. Yeah, even with all the ether we were collecting, we would not have had enough. Part of that is because I didn't spend any time farming the farming for ether, but that mission was not worth doing so on. At least not for what I would have to put up with. Okay, then. That should be all that. Then we're gonna head to the harbor to get the scenario's last side quest. It was a storage area where several of my ex-fellows kept their supplies. It seemed that Duval was taking his oath to destroy the society quite seriously. Many precious resources were being dumped into the river. I decided to stop them. I would use the supplies for my own ends. Okay, I imagine we're probably going to have to be doing a lot of uh, graph distribution on this, among other things. So, first we're going to give Aldis the Navy Gun, the Musket, and the Ojo del Muerto. Funny, I would have figured we'd give him the Lucky Horseshoe. Give him plus 10, plus 10 aim, minus 5 defense, though. But it seems we can't go be that high below one. Theodore will get the navy gun and sturdy shoes. Nothing else, huh? Luis with the 10 gauge quadruple shotgun. And Gunther will get the navy gun and elephant rifle. Strange, wonder where we got that lucky horseshoe. Uh, as for the graphs, for Dr. Aldis, we will be giving the Gambler's Liver, the Hand of Fortune, Lucky Lung, Priest's Tongue, and Human Limb. Which I guess these things are meant to act as the Joker cards. That gets him Revenant. Five persons in one. Plus 15 luck per turn. 
not bad. Plus 10 defense, plus 2 max HP, and plus 20 max luck. Nice. Theodore will get the tattooed skin and human blood. Gunther will get the stinger. And Luis will get the vampire brain. And or any other graft you bought if you weren't able to afford said graft. And that should be it. So, let's get going. Duval will will heart that ha, 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 would hardly miss those supplies, and I needed them for the greater cause. When the doctor's minions found out we were coming, they started draining the ether into the river. We had to make haste if we were to secure anything at all. Okay, I'm honestly still not 100% sure on how Shadow Cloak. I mean, I guess it just makes you invisible. But if we want to save as much ether as we can, we're going to want to move theater as far no north as possible so we can close the central barrel's tap in the next turn. Oh uh, boy, I'm hoping, really hoping the Shadow Salve works as advertised. Huh. Apparently, when you're in Shadow Cloak mood, mo that type of mood, mode, you can ignore reaction shots' auras, even if they are highlighted. Okay. And basically, Theodore is going to be the one who's going to be closing all of these taps. Makes sense. Disguise wouldn't exactly work. Also, do not leave him in these lamp posts. Otherwise, yeah, Shadow Sal or Shadow Sal Sal Shadow Cloak will dissipate. Mm, they're both in half cover. Now there's a group of three over there. Shame I can't get her over there in time to do something about them. Cuz, ooh, a cone blast on these guys. It would wipe them out. Best I can do is get her moved into position so that we can see them. Gunther I'm probably going to keep towards the back. And have him use his sniper rifle to pick off targets as best he can. Well, it won't kill him. The damage is damage. Plus, that does cripple his movement. Oh boy! That's not good. Ooh. I missed it. Did Revenant give him extra damage? Or is that just the Centurion? Lucky shot. Nothing did a whole lot for ya. But yeah, we're gonna want to be very careful with that Shadow Cloak, because look at all the enemies around Theodore. Uh, no, it didn't give him extra damage, so yeah, Navy Gun wouldn't have been a good option. Fortunately, I don't have much of a choice here. 
because I can't shoot and reload in this turn. Six damage. I hope Del Muerto doesn't give him that. So weird. Because I know for a fact the Navy Gun does five damage, not six. We close the valve on the first tank. The trip would not be completely in vain. Ah, uh, please don't leave him in sunlight with that. Or not sunlight, but, you know, light. All right, Luis, you get over here. Take this guy out. Or at least hurt him. Dang it, Luis! Okay, so theater's still in Shadow Cloak. Good. That idiot's just running back and forth around up there, being an idiot. The second valve was closed with some ether still in the keg. I'm gonna place you over here, just because I know that's in Shadow. I would so love to get just right next to you and just blow you away. But one, I wouldn't do enough damage, and two, reaction shot. Ah, stupid double cover. How is that not flanking? Down. No, do not use that healing elixir. That's right, come on down, meet your killer. <laughs> oh, yeah, should've seen that one coming. Got him a cracked skull as well. Ooh. Okay, Theodore, can you reach this tap in one turn? No, but you can at least get right next to it. And I'm hoping that this note is true, that we can ignore reaction shots while in Shadow Cloak. Good. I would not have been a happy camper if that wasn't the case. Okay, that one's dead.
And he's got nobody he can shoot at. No good to stay back then. Wait, did I not do anything with... Ah, oh, I probably forgot to do something with all this. Yeah, I did. No matter. Come on! Okay, Gunther, you get back. This is not good. The final keg was now secure. We made quite a cable team. All that remained was the unfortunate business of eliminating the witnesses. Gotta have Louise start luring enemies. Because she's got regeneration. Gunther doesn't. So she can take a few shots. Gunther, on the other hand, cannot. So you get over here. And if you don't mind... There we go. Ah, foo, foo, foo. I think I'm not going to have Theodore engaging these enemies here, because that would be suicide for him. So I'm just going to have him fall back. Help out Louise, because Gunther's not gonna be a whole lot of help right <clears throat> right now. Ah, uh, boy. See, I can't take him out because then I risk him getting shot. He has no healing items. This is the guy that nearly killed Gunther. This idiot who just chooses to want, run up and down stairs. Like, well, an idiot. Alright, uh... Aldous, you run up. And reload your musket. You st I just used the healing elixir, didn't I? Why? Ugh. Theodore, you get over here. Shoot him. Yeah, see? His navy gun only does five. There's gotta be something I'm missing on here. Oh, the... Did the gouge eye always give plus one damage? I don't remember that. Huh. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. 
It's a good thing. But, oh, what a waste. Probably have Theodore run in and get some execution shots on those snipers. Just gotta be careful with positioning. Else I could be in serious danger. Just shy of being able to get after these guys and keep Aldis in safe cover. Maybe from over here I might have an angle on him? I do. Just gotta be careful with how I do this with the snipers. Yeah, he's invisible, effectively. But who knows what happens if somebody bumps into him. Should just be these two snipers and then. Then the guys buy that one tap, I think. Okay, so he's left Shadow Cloak, but that should return once I end my turn. Because he's still in shadows. No, no, wait, there's that guy over there. You know what, Doctor? You get over here. Yep, he's back in shadows. God, it just so sucks that what is effectively my sniper, who would be very helpful... It's just out of commission because of a lack of health. Ugh, too risky. Really too risky. Okay. Theodore. Nope. Why not? Probably should have actually gone with Luis to drain that luck. Oh well, what's done is done. He doesn't have cover from behind. But I don't have my musket loaded. He does have a ton of health though. I'm not sure what gun this guy has. Doesn't help that all the models look the same for our guns. Tell you what, you just reload your guns. Oh, that's a Mr. Persons? Interesting. But it doesn't matter.
Can't move her there because she'll get hit by a reaction shot, so not much I can do. Wait, what? He should have been back in Shadow Cloak. As a matter of fact, he was. <sighs> okay, Theodore, you are getting out of there. Like, right now. I mean, I'm not hallucinating, right? He was back in Shadow Cloak. Okay, so essentially all we have left is the Doctor and Louise. Doc, you get over here. Shoot Mr. Persons, but do it with your musket. Thank you. Luis. Uh, not much I can do for you, so I'm just going to have you fall back to around the other side. Gunther. Oh, boy. Probably get him shot by the sniper. Okay, Luis, let's start with you. Get over here, start shooting this guy. Ha ha ha. Do I make this risky play with Gunther? Probably shouldn't. But I need extra firepower. I need to get Dr. Gorman into a position where he can shoot someone. That someone being this guy. Not him. Him. Good. We are slowly but surely taking care of these guys. I'll take this risk. Shouldn't have taken that risk. Okay, he is back in Shadow Cloak. Okay, he's down. He should not have cover from this side. Good. Three remain. Two left. One of them a person's.
Not going to be able to get him in this turn. So, I'm just going to have Dr. Gorman. Because that guy can get it to him from over there. Move over here. Theodore. You're going to stay right where you are. Luis, you start moving around to this side to get to that other guy. Ah, that was a mistake, Mr. Persons. For well, now, I have you in my sights. Now it's just a small game of cat and mouse. Really? No matter. Tisk tisk, you have exposed your flank. The doctor's minions were dead, and the ether was secured. It was a victory worthy of Nelson or Wellington. Dr. Frankenstein. Which means complete any of the golem hands on a character and complete at least one combat encounter with that character. Nice. Human resources. Collect at least 75 ether from enemies. Fallen in one combat encounter. Nice. Well, that got us a ton of stuff, and to be honest, there's only one thing left, and that's heading for the quarry. Well, no. No, we are actually... I know we're over our time limit for this episode, because that mission on went on longer than it should have. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to mention because we didn't actually need it. But, um... If you don't have enough money, you can head for the medicine show and choose the first option there to earn an additional 200 gold. But we had enough gold for everything, so it wasn't an issue. Let's see. Didn't need... don't need anything for that. I'm just going to finish this off because it's just one tiny little thing. But we are basically just going to buy every graft left and cure any wounds or decay aff affecting your posse members. So we're getting the Sasquatch Teeth, the Undentified Organ, the Cannibal Stomach, Living Spine, the Third Eye, which is a new one, gets you Golden Bullet. The all-seeing Third Eye made manifest. The specimen is said to have belonged to the great Benjamin Franklin. Interesting. And the human tail. Okay, Theodore was a bit under the weather. Weather. Gunther seemed disappointed when I asked for his wounds to be tended. That is everything. Seriously, that is the last preparations before heading on to the last mission. So, I guess that means that... Pardon me. It means that uh, Hard West is coming to an end. I am going to move on to A Hat in Time, and I've got another secondary series planned after this that I feel is thematically appropriate for October. But with that, we have come to an end for this episode. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload that <laughs> notifications, and please uh, don't forget to hit that straw pulling to vote for our next Let's Play, which actually now that I think about it, I should probably leave it out for these last two episodes because it's pretty much at an end. And we already know what it's going to be. Because there's no way anything else can catch up in this brief time. But, uh, yeah, if you could also leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys.
in the next episode. Thanks for watching.